shuffling the snare drum into beats two and four is slightly more of a challenge. Oh, one, two, three, four. The key here is observing the pickup to the hi-hat. So the two-part combination that's most important is just this whole left side. A one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Picking up to the hi-hat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. When lining up with the ride, people will often get mixed up and start playing a sort of random shuffle over here on any beat. We can prevent this by adding the ride to the left side in a few key ways. Oh, one, two, three, four. We start with the left side. Oh, one. Then we're going to add the ride on just beats two and four, unison with the hi hat. One, two, a three. We get used to dropping on that note without playing in unison with the snare drum. Then we're going to go to just the shuffle part of the ride, which is opposite the shuffle in the snare drum. A one, two, three. Then when we drop in the full ride, we'll have that drop on the ride cymbal with the hi-hat and the shuffle opposite the snare drum. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. You can take any of these moments out of time and isolate them as a sequence of events if needed. Typically, it's this one. A two, a three, a four, a one. A two, a three, a four, a one. Sometimes people get it right away, and sometimes it takes 15 to 20 minutes of really deliberate processing before we're ready to move on. Just make sure you take the time that you need to get it and that everything's lined up properly. Once you get those three part connections made, go back and put all four parts in together, shuffling into beats two and four. A one, two, three, 